Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I really just wanna have a discussion with all of you. So I wanna kinda of do a review and recap of the latest uh, Lowriders DLC that we got, but I also wanna talk about the idea of have we gotten enough Lowriders and has it been dragged out for too long now? and what I expect going forward, maybe from Rockstar in Grand Theft Auto Online. All right, so let me quickly give you guys a recap of what I think of Lowrider's Customs Classics. One, I was more definitely surprised with all the content that came out, considering we were only expecting new cars in an adversary mode. We had those two new weapons, which were awesome, by the way. The new clothing, super cool. I love some of the outfits, like the new slip-on shoes, which are really cool, and also the bomber working jackets. Those are awesome, and the cars are pretty cool also. Now, I can't say that I, I'm just falling in love with all of them. I think the Slam Van is the best. I'm not the biggest fan of the Dundry Virgo or the Faction Donks, but the Slam Van for me is a home run. I think Rockstar knocked that out of the park, so I'm very, very happy with that. And overall, it was a nice, pleasant surprise of a DLC, considering Rockstar didn't officially announce it until the night before it came out. So I'm gonna call that one a surprise. However, I want to talk about have we gotten enough lowriders and is it time to move on for something else? Because if you think about it, three of the four last DLCs have included either lowriders or vehicles that can be added in Benny's original motor works. So let's discuss that right now. In October, we got Grand Theft Auto Online Lowriders, which obviously was six vehicles that could be added into Benny's original motor works. Then we got Executives and Other Criminals, which didn't feature any Benny's content. So that was cool. That featured a lot of cool stuff. Uh, and then we got the January Drop Zone update. Again, two new cars that were added into Benny's original motor works. And now we've gotten Lowriders Customs Classic, which for now includes three vehicles that we can currently access in Benny's and then three vehicles that are currently destroyed. Disabled. So if we add all of those up, that's six from the original Lowriders, two from the drop zone update, so that gives us eight. And then when it's all said and done, six are going to be added from this Lowriders Customs Classics. So that's going to give us 14 vehicles. And of the past three out of four DLCs, it's essentially been 14 vehicles that could be added in Benny's original motor works. Now, on the surface, that sounds great. And don't get me wrong, those vehicles have been an absolute blast to customize in Grand Theft Auto Online. But if if you think about it, only two of them are new. That being the Albany Primo and also the Moonbeam. All the other cars have already been in the game. In fact, every vehicle from Lowriders Customs Classics has already been in the game. So you're not seeing anything new. The only thing new you're seeing is the customization that you're putting on the vehicles. So the discussion I wanna have with you guys, is it time to move on from Benny's? Is it time to move on from Lowriders? And I'm kind of torn because I really like what Rockstar has done with adding Benny's original motorsports into the game. I think it's uh, you know added a completely new element that they could do in terms of customization, in terms of things they could add to vehicles and upgrades that they could do to cars. So I really do think it is revolutionary Grand Theft Auto Online in terms of making it an unbelievable place to customize cars. But at the same rate, that's really what we've been getting force fed over the past four months, really since October. So if you think about it, October, November, December, January, February, March, it's been six months and three of the four updates we've gotten have all been basically centered around 12 out of 14 existing vehicles and all of them just adding them into Benny's original MotorWorks with a ton of adversary modes as well. I've never seen Rockstar add more adversary modes in the game. I think over the past six months, we've gotten six new adversary modes. Some of them, to their credit, have been pretty awesome. I will say like Sumo is really, really good. Till Death Do Us Part, I think is another great adversary mode. But then there's just been some of them that I'm just like, hmm, you know, I really don't get this. I don't know why they decided to add that into the game. Hasn't really been my favorite. So I think it's been really over the past six months, an overdose of adversary modes and an overdose of low riders slash vehicles we could take into Benny's original motor work. So I do think it is time to do something different. And unfortunately, I think Rockstar took the slightly wrong approach by disabling the three vehicles in this latest update. Because what that essentially is gonna do is just drag out these low riders even longer. And I think this update would have been a lot more hyped if Rockstar had released all six vehicles at once. I think it would have been insane. People would have been like, whoa, six new Benny's vehicles, that is 
awesome. Thank you so much, Rockstar. And to an extent, I think people are really still enjoying this update, but now since we kind of know what the vehicles are, we're just waiting for them to be added into the game. It's kind of dragging out the process. And I understand from Rockstar's point of view, they are a business. They are trying to maximize their profit and money and longevity of Grand Theft Auto Online. So from that aspect, I totally understand it. But I also understand why people might be frustrated. And I certainly saw this in my comment section and on Twitter that you guys seem to be burned out, at least some of you to an extent, on lowriders and that's totally understandable because we've just gotten a lot of lowrider content over the past half year if you think about it it really has been a half year featured all around Benny's and lowriders content which is kind of crazy if you think about it so moving forward what do you think Rockstar should do in Grand Theft Auto Online should they start focusing less on Benny's content should they you know keep the same amount of Benny's content as well as trying to do more I'm really not too sure I think a lot of people love the Benny stuff and I think there's a good amount of people People that don't like the Benny stuff or have at least gotten tired of it. So that's where I'm going to leave the discussion up for you guys. And I also want to talk about what Rockstar could be doing next because I've got a theory that suggests that all the content we've been getting lately is going to lead to something huge in Grand Theft Auto Online. So the reason I say this is because some of the evidence I've stated earlier, you know, 12 of the last 14 vehicles we've gotten in Grand Theft Auto Online, excluding the Declasse Tampa and excluding the content from executives and other criminals. And albeit most of the vehicles from executives and other criminals were old armored vehicles. Also, there was like the armored version of the Baller, the Shafter V12 armored variant. So there wasn't a whole lot of new vehicles in that either. I think there was only three of them in total. So when you think about it, 12 of the last 14 Benny's vehicles have been ones that were already in the game. Now, I know that creating content in Benny's is probably a difficult challenge, probably takes up time, but for the most part, those three DLCs haven't added anything exactly innovative or new. Now, Executives and Other Criminals had a lot of awesome and great stuff, and I consider that to be one of the best DLCs, but I really do think Rockstar is ramping something up for something big to either happen in spring or or to happen in the summer months. I don't know when it's gonna happen. I don't know if it has to do with GTA 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online, but I think the reason we're getting all these DLCs is because Rockstar is planning something absolutely huge. So uh, again, I don't really know what it's gonna be. I don't have any insider information or ideas. Rockstar isn't telling me a thing, but I think that's the reason for the DLCs that we've been getting recently. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. What do you think of the recent lowrider content that we've been getting? Is it time to take a break? And do you think all this recent lowrider content means that Rockstar is planning something big in Grand Theft Auto Online? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.